Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block, center the home of Nigerian African Boxing. And please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you go to like and of course the subscriber right now. Prestissimo. I want to say big thanks to each and every one of you that support the channel from beyond and afar. Oh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to each and every one of you in your different various time zone now let's get straight to it right here without hesitation and the Ruiz Jr. is back in action August the 3rd in Los Angeles at the BMO Stadium not BMO Arena BMO Stadium in Los Angeles BMO Stadium is um is a new bu newly built stadium um uh, a football stadium I mean aka soccer in America and uh, Andres Jr. had some things to say about Andres Jr. Like, listen, one thing I noticed about Andres Jr. is that he's very obsessed with Anthony Joshua fight because Joshua fight made him. You know, back then when I used to say that without Joshua, Andres Jr. wouldn't have all he has now. That Joshua remains the cash cow. Why isn't Andres Jr. calling out Tyson Fury? Deontay Wilder, which the fight he pulled, literally pulled out from because the money wasn't enough. Fighting Joshua makes you become, turns you into a millionaire overnight. That's what happened to Andrews Jr. Um, he had a lot to say, and also Umar of IFR TV, the former employee of IFR TV, you know, I don't know what he has against Joshua, but I think uh, Umar is very he has some questions that are, that are very uh, you know i don't know he, he, he's trying to bait you basically <laughs> you know into saying what um what you didn't have in mind to say but in this regard and originally has always been obsessed with joshua he's always talked about joshua in every interview let's hear from him right here it takes a lot it takes a lot to a fighter to do that to be fair, Andy, um, I think it's fair to say it took Anthony quite a while to get over that loss to you. I know he had two more losses to Usyk, but it's only just until now where he's got his real confidence and mojo back, it seems. Would you agree with that? Yeah, I kind of agree, but you got to think about the opponents as well, you know? What if he was fighting opponents like me? What if he was fighting opponents like Usyk? Again, um, you see, those those take a lot, a lot of difference, but yes, um, getting those opponents did help him out. It helped him get his, his motivation back. It helped him get his confidence back, his mojo back. And, and I'm excited for him, you know? There's nothing to be hating about. Um, I, got a, I got a lot of love for him, man, because he's, he's, a, he's a really good guy. Nice guy inside or outside the ring, and he's humble, but for sure we want that trilogy. <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure you do. Do you think you took something out of that, Joshua? Um, no, just maybe the, the confidence a little bit. Maybe he was overthinking too much of himself. Um, there's a lot of things that could that could happen, you know. Us fighters, we go through so much, and and a lot of people don't see it, you know. And um, I'm just happy that Anthony Joshua is back in action, and so am I. On August 3rd, we're going to get this victory, and we're going to stay consistent. We're going to keep fighting. We're going to keep fighting until I get you again, Anthony Joshua. <laughs> well, it's a fantastic fight you've got on third. Well, that's Andrews Jr. Andrews Jr. speaking on Anthony Joshua, the trilogy that he wants. I would tell Andrews Jr. right now, Joshua don't have to fight you in a trilogy unless you have a belt. Fact. Andrews Jr. is a fantastic fighter. He's an addition to every division. I, I mean, even though he's a chameleon, because I always say he's a chameleon, I knew right from time when he beat Joshua that he was a chameleon when he duped, dumped his trainer and recently I heard that uh, he he dumped his his uh, ex um, his wife basically I don't know his, his fiance the, the woman that was with him um, from that's been with him from day one from when he was when he was uh, nothing nobody and now he dumped her for a uh, beautiful you know amazing looking um, model you know I don't know but this is human being stuff, you know. Things happen. 
and also women also get jealous sometimes when you become stressful because you not have a, the attention of the world and you know we all we all have been in those situations where either we have been fucked up by a woman or we fucked up women uh, it's just one of those things but get into the business the the business side of boxing and there's you know against anthony joshua in a trilogy would be a very interesting fight i don't want to see andrew you know back in action and active believe you me an active andrew you know is a very very dangerous one to any everywhere out there but i believe joshua would easily deal with andrew you know because the last time i checked andrew you know footwork is still the same he's not a mover he doesn't know how to cut off the ring properly is he doesn't take the sport of boxing serious you know so i don't know man that's a, like a big ask you know but i don't i don't i don't think we need to see that fight now unless um joshua uh, andrews jr has a belt i know that joshua fight will fight anyone that would be an easy fight and original is one is not uh listen to Usyk. these are two different uh Usyk is a ma- is a boxing maestro and original is a destroyer but uh, a destroyer without an effective footwork um it's very it doesn't take the sport of boxing serious like i said before he's not in shape um he doesn't listen and original fights for money basically he do, he, boxing is not as um uh, it's not what he wants to do this guy just wants to live life he's been listen he's fought twice he's fought twice in two years the, can you imagine how crazy that is and the fact that original is calling out Anthony joshua not calling out joseph parker who is back in shape basically back in form joseph parker has a win over andrews jr it was a very it was a war basically a war between two two uh, monsters and joseph parker was very young then a lot of you know um fight you know a lot of like like a lot of uh back and forth war and then just it was it was amazing go watch that fight by the way but uh, this joshua this version of joshua would knock andrew you know down and would knock him out the reason why i'm saying is because the this version of joshua would is able to hurt and Jr. he hurt him before even though would have just hurt and Jr. because he dropped Jr. joshua is the first guy the first man to drop and Jr. okay he's the first guy to drop him so and Jr. is not is not a guy that joshua can drop and joshua in that first fight went for the kill too early but one thing we know about original now is that when you hurt him that is that is that is when it becomes dangerous basically when he's hurt it becomes dangerous basically so great fighter um i wish he took the spot of boxing a little bit serious and not for just for money i know it's called prize fighting and stuff like that but if you want to be known as a legend in this in the sport and not just the one hit wonder well you would have to definitely like um do more than just talking but john original loved he loves joshua's payday bro and like i said before the bout the upcoming bout between him and jeremy miller is gonna be the deciding factor for who gets to fight who gets the chance to fight the landlord in the nearest future Okay, Jerry Miller messed it up the first time. Regino jumped in, and I remember clearly when Regino jumped in, people said it was gonna be an easy fight for Joshua. That was all they said. Regino was on the rated. He was highly um, viewed as. No, it wasn't viewed as a like he was viewed as a good fighter, but not a serious one that can give Joshua problems. But when what happened happened he became a celebrity overnight he gained over um 
1.6 million Instagram followers. I think Regina has 1.8 now, bro. Since fighting Joshua, since 2019, Regina has only gained 200k followers more. That's very, that's very low. Joshua already has 17 million now. Joshua had about 10 then, I guess. So Joshua gained 7 million more. You see what I'm saying? Joshua made Andrews Jr. And he, he will always be grateful for that. I can see that. That's why he wants another big payday from Joshua. Rich Jr., one thing I would say is that good fighter that you have, get, go get the belt. If you can. With your inactivity, it will be very difficult because you're not active enough. And also, we have the city of boxing, Turkey Allah Sheikh in town. So, he wants to see fighters active, not you don't, you don't just get a shot at what they don't really deserve. So, Regino, um, I mean, he's a good guy. I don't, I don't know him personally, but the way he speaks and stuff like that, you can tell he's, he's a good guy. It's just that he has a chameleon traits in him, which means he can switch on people who've been there for him, you know, any time, any day, switched up on his trainer. Switched up on his ex fiance, the mother of his uh, first, of his, uh, first kids that they've been there, that was there for her, there for him from day one. Yeah, this guy's like, uh, unless the woman did something extraordinary, bad, maybe something extremely, you know, bad. I don't know, man. In terms of relationships with uh, women, it's very different, you know. I've had my fish my share of, of, of it it's not easy bro. but what what one thing i would say is that always keep it 100 with people that have been there with you from day one when you were when you was nobody when you was nobody that's fact. stay blessed guys god bless you okay.